to my channel and welcome to the second Gap Year Diaries which is a series I'm doing on my channel where I show you different things I get up to and vlog my days this gap year before going to university next September. So today I'm going into town and I really want to buy some books as I have a gift card and there's some that I really want to buy to read soon so I thought today might as well be the day. And I have an update regarding finding a new job. So if you watched my last vlog, I had an interview for a job. Well, I never got it. And then I had another interview and then they gave me a trial shift. I thought I was really gonna get it. It was like a boba place. But unfortunately I did not get the job, which I guess is kind of good because if that place is always so busy, I just find it really stressful. And I genuinely don't think I can do like a food or drink service place again. This is why I think I should just stick to retail. And then I had another job interview. This was a phone call one for like a retail place. It sells like books, crafts, and kids toys. And then yesterday they emailed me offering me the job. And I'm literally so happy to have finally got a job. I feel like that would be a really good place to work. So today I need to go in and give them my right to work documents. And then it's only a Christmas temporary position. So like it ends on the last day of the year, however, the description did say they might take people on permanently after the Christmas season so I really hope that I can be taken on permanently as it is like really hard to find a job and I like I'm so happy to finally found one after almost like two months of trying to get one so hopefully things work out and that I like it there but yeah I'm really excited to start up at that job as it seems really cool to start new skills and of course start earning money again. today's outfit so I have this grey cardigan on which I got in my last video it is so nice and then I have a black top on and these jeans and I'm gonna wear my Uggs with this outfit now and I met my new manager and she was really nice and then I also talked to one of my co-workers and she was really lovely too so hopefully I'll enjoy my time working there because of at my old job I didn't really enjoy it so yeah I'm gonna be emailed soon of when my start date is I also did a bit of shopping I absolutely love retail therapy because things haven't been the best lately because of I was just stressing about getting a new job but since finding out I got a job yesterday I feel like in a much better mood like things are finally starting to work out for me along with getting some new stuff always puts me in a better mood you know because like then I can look forward to wearing the new clothes or trying out the new thing that I got so yeah I'm of course going to give you a haul now so the first thing I got from Primark is this really cute pyjama top here, it just has hearts and flowers on. This was on sale, originally £7 and I got it for 4 because of some of my pyjamas are getting old, one of them has a hole in the top so I got this one, it's really nice. The annoying thing is they didn't have the shorts, I noticed they always have the tops but never the matching shorts. When I know they used to but it's fine because I do have like shorts that would go with this, it just looks so nice. I also got a new shower cap from Primark as my one was getting a bit old. And then my favourite thing also from Primark was this really nice coat here. It's like so soft and fluffy. It feels so nice because I needed to get a new coat to keep me warm in the winter because my other one I've had like for five years now and it's just like really old. It doesn't really look that good anymore. It's like one of those teddy coats but I don't sell them anymore because I guess they're not like trending like they used to be like five years ago. So I said I just got this one. It's black, it's got a hood and then it also has pockets. This is actually from the kids section. I got it in size 14 to 15 and it fits me really good. They did have one similar in the ladies section but it didn't have a hood and it was a bit cropped but I wanted one with a hood and I just feel like this one looks and fits a lot more nicer and this was £17 which is just so good. I cannot wait to wear this. I also got like this perfume thing for my brother's birthday. And then I got some books as I had a book gift card so I was going to get them from 
Waterstones, but they didn't have any of the books I was looking for. I swear, Waterstones never has the books I want. So instead, I went to WH Smith and they had the ones I wanted. So I first of all got Babel. I've seen this on TikTok and everyone says it's such a good book and it's got like the dark academia vibes and I absolutely love books that are like dark academia like The Secret History, If We Were Villains, they are amazing so I really can't wait to read this, it seems really good. The book is really long though as well, it's literally like over 500 pages long but it just looks so cool. It's set in Oxford University in 1836 and honestly this just seems like such a good read. Then I got Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, got a classic. I really want to read this book and it just seems so good. And then continuing with the gothic fiction, I then got Dracula, which is a book I also really want to read by Bram Stoker. So yeah, I literally cannot wait to read these books. They all just look so good. That is everything I got when I went shopping. Now I'm going to give you a trial of the clothing that I got. Here is a top, it is so cute. And then here is a coat, it's so nice and cozy. Yeah, it's literally so, so cute. Now it's time to try and find a place for my new books. As you can see, I literally don't have any room and I even have to pile some at the side. And I do have a few at the top here, but I kind of like the display I have going on. So I'm not ready to take that down yet to fit more books, but I'm gonna see what I can do and try and make them fit. All of these books here are from when I did my English Literature A level. I'm not going to get rid of them just because of, I think they're pretty good texts and I like the poets as well. I was thinking of just having a shelf of my classics and then a shelf with non-classics. These are my modern books and these are my classics. And then down here I have my Holly Jackson books. On this shelf is majority classics all the way up until here and then I have If We Were Villains and Secret History to keep the black book theme going on plus we all know that these are definitely going to be classics in the future because they're literally so iconic and so good and then down here of course I have my Holly Jackson books and then I have these four books here which aren't classic so yeah I think this looks pretty good I literally have no space to buy any books maybe like one more I could squeeze in down there I definitely can't fit anything up here you know could start filling up here but I'm not really sure like I only buy books if I know I really want to read it and I know I'm going to enjoy it after doing loads of research about it because of I've brought books in the past and I just ended up not enjoying them so I think if there's any books I want to read I'll just borrow them from the library because I kind of have like all the books that I want to own copies of that I know of so far. and it's time for another shopping day but we're going to be going to a retail park where B&M and TK Maxx and some other shops are and this is what I'm wearing today I have this grey top on, this black cardigan and my jeans this bubble tea drink from B&M to try. I'm not really the biggest fan of like bubble tea, especially ones that are like fruit teas, but I decided to give it a go anyways. It was actually like one pound, I don't know, something. But this one is a lychee and passion fruit one. I just think the can is so cute. They also had a peach one, but I thought that this one would be more interesting. 
And I think it has popping boba inside as well, but I can't really see inside the can. That's actually quite nice. It doesn't actually really taste of tea because that's a problem. I don't like the taste of tea, but this is more like a fruit drink. So good, but I don't know where the boba is. I'm assuming it's probably all the way at the bottom. I did manage to find some of the boba. It's the one that like pops with like the juice inside. I definitely prefer that one over the black boba. I just find them so hard to eat. But yeah, this is actually so good. It does not taste of tea at all. It's actually amazing. It tastes so nice. And obviously the can is adorable. I also got this flamingo face mask, a new body spray, and this body lotion, which is a dupe of the Sol de Janeiro 68, which is my favourite scent, and this one smells so nice. And it was like so much cheaper, obviously, as well. And this is what it looks like inside. <laughs> later since I last filmed for this video because I wanted to film my first day at my new job and today is the day it's half seven and I'm literally so tired. I'm Here is my iced coffee which is very much needed and my breakfast. <laughs> So I just got changed into my outfit, I have these black jeans on and this black t-shirt as my uniform hasn't arrived or all it is is just like a polo top and like jumper and I have this just to put on because it's cold outside but I'm going to have to take this off for my shift as I can't wear this colour. I am feeling a bit nervous because of it, it's my first day but I'm excited for it and hopefully I'll enjoy it as I've never done retail before. I'm back home now from my first shift at my new job and I'm gonna tell you how it went. Everyone is really nice. I basically was just like working on a tills for most of it. I got the hang of it so easy. Like there were a couple times I messed up but like only minor mistakes like pretty much. I've already gotten a hang of it. It's really easy. The annoying thing is the scanner when I scan products. Easily scan things so sometimes I accidentally double scan but I already know how to like deal with that. I also put stickers on books to like show their discounted price and then I also did some restocking on the shelves so yeah overall was really good. My colleagues they were really nice and helpful. I'm back there on Sunday. I'm not meant to be but they offered me an extra shift to cover someone and of course I'm gonna take it. So that's another 10 to 3 shift and I can get that money in but yeah it's so good I really enjoy it there I'm glad that it went well hey everyone it's now the next day and I'm gonna be going shopping with my friends so I thought I would vlog it today's outfit I just have this top on underneath but I'm gonna do up this brown zip up hoodie as it looks better done up I've got some black flared leggings on I have my bag here I don't know what shoes I'm gonna wear but I think my Uggs would look cute with this like a nice autumn outfit
home now and never got anything because there was just nothing I liked or wanted and I'm kind of trying to save money here like I really need to get a new phone at some point I don't know when because my one now is just like very glitchy and I want to get an iPhone and that's obviously going to cost me a lot so yeah but it's really fun hanging out my, with my friend like it's always so much fun when we hang out together and the beach was so nice as well with the sun like it's just been such a nice sunny day today and kind of warm as well when it's actually like coming up towards the end of October. Hey everyone, it's now the next day and I'm just getting ready because I have work again, which is my second ever shift. It's another 10 to 3. I think I mentioned this before, but it's actually just the cover shift. I wasn't meant to work today, I'm just covering someone who wasn't able to start today like another one of the seasonal positions as my job is just a Christmas rule but hopefully they can take me on permanently after Christmas because I said there could be a chance well the job description did say so yeah I kind of am looking forward to the shift you know to see like what it's like and it is a Sunday and in the UK the shops are only open like from 10 to 4 and I'll be there for almost the whole time the shop's open for Hopefully it won't be too busy though, that's the only thing. Here is the work outfit, hopefully I get my uniform soon. I do have my name badge and I can't show you it otherwise you're going to know where I work. I'm back home now and the shift went well. I put some products out on the shelves and mostly worked on the tills. Everything went well. So yeah, I'm really happy with my new job. I'm really enjoying it. So much better than my old one. So yeah, I'm probably going to end the vlog now. Thank you so much for watching the second one of the Gapia Diaries. I hope you're enjoying this series I'm doing on my channel this year and I'll see you next Friday for a new video. Bye!